Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to use sheath test and sheath thought on an easy thump and smart thump. Now, let's get started. In this video, we will be going over the easy thump and the smart thumps, sheath fault and sheath test. For a brief connection overview, connect your ground lead to the system ground. Then connect your high voltage return lead to the concentric neutral or cable shield under test. Finally, connect your high voltage output lead to the cable under test. Smart Thump 25 is also equipped with a sheath test. The sheath test is still a high pot test, but it limits your KV to 2 through 5 KV output. Sheath fault will be located next to thumping. Once selected on either sheath fault or the sheath test, you'll get a warning message to be sure that the HV output is connected to the concentric neutral. The next message that will appear is to check the HV return to ensure that it is on ground. Sheath test is just like a high pot test, but only on the sheath. Exceptions are the maximum voltage you can output is 5 kV. After the desired voltage is selected, you'll be prompted to the screen that says Push the green HV on button to build voltage. The next screen that will appear is an analog meter, which will build to the either the desired KV or until it reaches a breakdown. If breakdown has occurred, you will get this message showing that a breakdown has happened and at what KV it happened at. Then it will prompt you to go directly into sheath fault or pinpointing. Under sheath fault, you'll select a KV, and again, the highest KV you can select is 5 KV. After the desired voltage is selected, you'll be prompted to the screen that says, push the green HV on button to build voltage. Once the voltage is selected, the smart thump or the easy thump will then build the voltage and discharge until you tell the machine to stop. Once you have stopped the test, the screen will show test stopped and then will begin to discharge. Once the equipment has fully stopped, it will also show you the method that the test was stopped by. This concludes how to use sheath test and sheath fault on an easy thump and smart thump. Visit the Mega YouTube channel. For more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one, contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support that you may need for your electrical testing.